the transpiration pull is maximum under which of the following conditions so we know for the high transpiration rate there should be few characteristics like it has to be dry air right it has to be low humidity it has to be moist soil moist soil it has to be open stomata open stomata and high light intensity so it has to be high light intensity light intensity so these are some of the factors which are going to increase the rate of transpiration now look at the options the first option says closed stomata so that is why this is wrong open stomata dry air moist soil these are the correct factors so option b is going to be the correct answer coming to the next question curcuma longa as a director indica basmati rice indian ginseng are all related to which of the following concept yes you know curcuma longa is your turmeric it's neem as a director is neem basmati rice you know and indian ginseng it is ashwagandha so all of them are related to biopiracy right so if you have heard the term biopiracy biopiracy refers to a process in which the indigenous knowledge of nature which is acquired by or which is there with the native people it is used by some others organization countries without proper authorization and compensation for profit so without any authorization and compensation it is being used by some other country for profit and that happened in case of turmeric neem as well as ashwagandha these all have medicinal properties similar case happened with basmati also these all things belong to india but they were used by other countries for their profit so this process is called as biopiracy so that's all from the botany part now you can move to the zoology part for more questions thank you so much for watching let's start with the question 18 it says it is giving few points and then it is asking about which species should these points belong well let's read the question first and then we will move to the concept it is saying slow evolutionary changes relative to similar entities that means it is talking about the species in which slow changes are occurring right so first it is saying slow evolutionary changes then gross similarity to an ancestral fossil that means the species which are given in the options it is also talking about fossils right then very low taxonomic richness today as compared to the past okay so these three points are more than sufficient to identify the correct option let me tell you see what are the options given in the options the very first it is talking about connecting links so first of all we will uh, know that what are connecting links connecting links are the organisms which have characteristics of more than two groups of the organisms that means if i'll consider this point with those three points it is not fitting in the answer so i'll incorrect it right so this is incorrect option then i'll move to the option c first it is saying endangered species see endangered and extinct we know it very well that endangered species are those which are very likely to extinct in the future generation future time while the extinct species that means even the last individuals of these species have died so that means again we will eliminate the option c and d right by eliminating these three options we can conclude that option b is the correct one and one more point about this option b which is explaining by the last point right that is known in the fossil record before being discovered alive and this point clearly depicting about living fossils so i hope so this point is clear to everyone that the correct option for this is living fossils